motherfucker is a Brooklyn legend. You've seen him on HBO. That damn Michael J. Mike Brown. This is up. This is up. Damn. Yeah. That's how this how Brooklyn used to sound. That's the oh you Brooklyn. Now you're like, where Brooklyn at? They're like, we're right here. We just purchased this property. Yeah. Oh, look, a bike lane. Is that a coffee shop? I knew shit was changing and I was coming through Best Eye one night, three o'clock in the morning, and I seen three white people just walking down the street. I was like, oh, they coming. It's about to be fresh vegetables. They on their way. <laughs> they didn't even look scared. They was like, wee! Walking down gates. about to change it here. What's up, man? What's up, man? I know most of them. You good. You all right? You look nervous. I ain't say I know all of them. I know most of them. I know this. I don't know that nigga. <laughs> you safe. You all right, man. We got you. We fucked with you, man. What's your name, bro? Huh? Joji. Oh, it's not like a video game. Uh, you played Joji before. <laughs> She looking, she looking like, I play Joji. Uh, shit, I play Joji. <laughs> she, <laughs> on an expert level. <laughs> That's your lady, Joji? Uh, what's your name, baby? Kana. Like, kinda? <laughs> How's it going? How's he treating you, Kana? Did you act like you don't speak English now when I asked you? Like, you see that shit? <laughs> you like, I, do I, I thought he, I... <laughs> Bitch, you heard what he said. I'm playing up with him. Hey, before we go any further, anybody got Johnson & Johnson? Please leave. Get your ass out of here before you infect everybody in here with your bullshit. Johnson & Johnson. Why would you get a, a vaccine from a company that got sued for baby powder? Johnson & Johnson don't even sound scientific. Moderna, Pfizer, that's how, you gotta put a Z in that shit or somewhere. That sound like, you don't know nobody in your life with a Moderna or Pfizer for their name, right? We know Johnsons & Johnsons. I'm trusted with no vaccine, that's for damn sure. They shit was one shot, that's why I knew it was sketchy. The real ones had two. Josh and Josh like, you don't need all that, y'all. Need all that shit, y'all. You gotta go, come back again. We don't do that. Come do here, player. Come get our shit. One shot, boom. Take all, all of that. Cancer, rectal bleeding, and take care of anything, yo. Virus, yo, come, come inside. Come inside, yo. And they sell sneakers. <laughs> Two name, one shot. Exactly. You paid attention. <laughs> Educate black people up in here. He's like, I could do math, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. They tried to keep us safe. I understood it, but a lot of it didn't make no sense, you know, in practice. Like on the plane, right, when you had to wear the mask, they told you you could eat, but you had to pull your mask down, take a little nibble, put it back up. Take a little sip, put it back up. I was like, you dumbass, that's not how viruses work. You think the COVID just sitting there waiting for that? Like, yeah. As soon as you pull it down, I got you, motherfucker. You're going to die eating pretzels. Yeah, weird at the airport. Now you got to go through, like, do this now. I know white people, you ain't used to it. Whatever. You too, Sally. So I, I went through, right? And 
you know how you know how you mad at yourself because you do something you knew you shouldn't have done? You knew better. Ask the TSA girl. I was like, yo, you think I should take this belt off? She was like, she looked at the belt, she was like, nah, you good. You good. As soon as I went through, he was like, sir, step to the side. I was like, how old is this bitch? But I saw it on the screen. I was like, all right, all right, you know, he gotta do his thing. He said, sir, I'm gonna have to pat you down. I said, all right, do what you gotta do. He's, this, this is what he said to me. He's like, sir, I just want you to understand. I'm, I'm gonna be using the back of my hand, sir. <laughs> do you understand me, sir? I'm gonna be, I said, yeah, why well, you keep repeating it? That's weird. <laughs> you still gonna rub across my dick. This is getting strange now, bro. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Like, if you was walking down the street, right, and I touched your dick, you're like, yo, what the fuck? And I'd be like, nah, I did this. I did this, player. Uh-uh, uh-uh. This is gay, this is TSA. Gay TSA. Keeping America safe one cock at a time. That's one cock. That's where they keep it in the cock. Keep the drugs and everything in the cock. Crack of the ass. Remember back in the day, they used to wake you up to give you snacks. Because they had them in abundance. You dead ass sleep. They're like, you want some penis? I'm sleep. What the fuck? They don't do that shit no more. You got to pay for everything on the plane now. They don't wake your ass up no more. If you sleep, they try to sneak past your ass with the car. Yeah, you be asleep. This is Then you hear that wheel squeak, you're like, ah, give me my peanuts, give me my shit, give me my little fish, give me all my shit. Give me that little cup with the 50 pieces of ice in it, give me that shit too. They take a little cup, put, fill it with ice, crack a can of soda, pour half the can in and put the can back. I'm like, bitch, give me that whole fucking can, are you stupid? You should be getting a two liter on this flight, you know how much I pay for this? Who told you to get the expensive sodas? Get the cheap shit. Get the shit black people get at cookouts. Our sodas be just what it is, orange. Grape. Oh, you want sun kiss. Welch's. And ginger ale. It's a different day. It's a different day, man. It's a different day out here, man. We gotta, we gotta live a little better, man. A lot of shit going on us. We call it race, but we never win. <laughs> For white people, it's like, on your mark, get set, go! For us, it's, you're marked, get set, no. Uh -uh. I knew I was in for it when I was young. I was born in Mamani's Medical Center in Borough Park, right? But I was the only black child in the infirmary. Right, so you know the other parents, was at the window trying to figure out where their child was at. That nurse was in there looking at my father like, nigga. Why are you looking over there for? Is he blind? I was born amongst Jews. <laughs> it's real, it's real, it's real. One of us. I knew from a young age I was gonna be in trouble. When I used to listen to Kermit, remember Kermit used to sing that song? It's not easy being green. And he's like, oh, what's hard about being green? To be the color of leaves. I was like, that's your hang up? You a frog on TV, what are you talking about, yo? I said, like, try being black, the color they wish would leave. Ridiculous, yo. It's crazy that's going on out here. That's a, everybody got bent out of shape over a black mermaid. Oh oh. Racist white people are the dumbest ones in the world. I call them raw, R-A-W's, racist ass white people. Right, yeah, because they uncooked and they ain't got no seasoning. That's why I call them that. Yeah, because they don't know the history. This black mermaid. That's because you don't know. Mermaids is in black culture. Absolutely. They didn't come from y'all. Right. There's, a, there's a prominent mermaid called Mami, Wa, uh, Mami Wati, right? Yeah, there's a Yoruba one, and she's named Yemoja. Yeah, and they're like, no, we don't know nothing about that. Yeah, you don't know nothing about that shit. 
You ain't the first. They, ah, they went crazy. Like they was taking drugs and everything. Like, she can't be black. This doesn't make any sense. You know they can't swim. <laughs> she can't get her hair wet. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> What's next? No way to the seven baby daddies. What are we gonna do? This is ridiculous. They're not supposed to be part of that world. Hey, fuck out of here. <laughs> Black girl can't be a mermaid, but she can be her maid. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, shorty. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you, you, you like that? Yeah, he's like, I like that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you one of them. <laughs> Sometimes racism is so stupid, it don't even make sense. It used to happen a lot with me, happened recently. I'm walking down the street, minding my own business, and this old white lady was walking towards me with a walker. She has, she's had to be almost like 90 years old. And then she gonna look up and see me, and she took her purse, and she switched it to her other shoulder. Yeah, but I always look at them and go, what make this bitch think I can't reach over and snatch that shit off that shit? The fuck you think I'm a lazy criminal? That's two stereotypes at the same time. That's why I robbed that bitch too. I ain't take her money, I took a walk and put that shit down the block. Sometimes racism is a journey, go ho. We're living, man. We had, we had the Black Lives Matter, it was powerful. I didn't like the looting though. I don't like stealing and got nothing to do with the cause. But brothers, was, they were stealing and trying to adapt it to the cause. You see a dude with two laptops on his, Yo, bro, what you doing? He's like, we was the first Best Buy. You're like, get, the, get your ass out of here. carrying a 65 inch TV down the screen. You're like, yo, what you doing? you know, like, we're tired of being the target. <laughs> this for George Floyd. I said, that's for your living room. Stop playing up here, that's not for George Floyd. But still. <laughs> Best part about it was, you got to see people all over the globe chanting Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Powerful, yeah. powerful. But what's beautiful, they did it in their language. That was the beautiful part. Yeah. But the problem is all the languages ain't sound good. <laughs> Some of them we could have done without. Like in, in Italian, sounded real good. In Italian, Black Lives Matter is Nero Vite and Porta. I was like, oh, that sound good right there. We could chant that. Nero Vite and Porta. Nero Vite and Porta. Nero Vite. <laughs> we could do that. Right? French was even better. In French, Le Vie Noir Compton. I was like, ooh, that sounds like some shit you can't afford. <laughs> like, How much is that Le Vie Noir Compton? Ah, damn. <laughs> Give me chicken. <laughs> you got that type of money. <laughs> Go to Germany, got dicey. <laughs> German, it did not sound good in German. Black Lives Matter in German is. Swatch Levin and a leg in height. I was like, nah. Nah, I, I hear a nigger in there somewhere. I hear a nigger in that. Ain't no anger leg in height. What the fuck is an anger leg in height? You better get your ass out of here with your fucking anger leg in height. Hell no. Nah. You think that's bad? Portuguese was the worst. In Portuguese, it's Vidas, Negras, and Portum. I was like, nah, I don't fucking import them. That was the problem in the first place. <laughs> you already reported them. <laughs> I went to Drexel University, right? But when I went, it was only 3% black people. We knew each other, everybody knew each other. 3%, right? So one day, before I got there, before the year before I got there, one of the white frats had got suspended because they had a dog named Nigger. Yeah, so they used to walk him in the street like, come in, nigga, come in. I was like, oh, good thing I wasn't there that year. But what I did experience was hanging out late one night. I was going back to my dorm, leaving the dorm where all my people was at. 
So I'm going out the door, and it was like 3.30 in the morning, so nobody was on the street. And I'm walking, all of a sudden, all her, go back to Africa! I was like, where the fuck did that come from? Then I saw where it came from. They giggling, I was more than, it was like four of them, I could hear the different tones in the voice. So he's like, he, they said it, I said, what? He said, go back to her, go back to Africa. So I remember I was like, all right, um, I'm gonna come say bye first. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. I'm coming to say bye-bye, though. I don't want to be rude and leave without giving you your due. Go back to Africa was always so dumb to me. We didn't ask to be here. How you kidnap somebody and say, go back home? I said, all right, if we go back to Africa, then y'all got to get the fuck out. Yeah, I would love to see that. Wouldn't you love to see Africans escorting white people out of Africa? They sitting there enjoying that. It's like, uh, it's time for you to go. <laughs> Come with me. Like, what are you talking about? Come with me, please. What's happening? You have to leave this country now. <laughs> but I was born here. I know. <laughs> it's crazy for someone to come along and just rip you from where you're from, huh? Isn't that a... You have to go, a colonizer. Time to go. <laughs> you better hurry up because your ship is about to leave. If you miss that boat, you will be stranded here. And if you are stranded here, you will have to work for free. For free? I know. Uh, crazy. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> These white girls straight face like a motherfucker over here. <laughs> They're like, I didn't know we got these tickets. What the fuck is happening here? <laughs> She's like, check your phone. Does your phone have the same thing? Mm, just sit quiet, sit quiet, sit quiet. <laughs> How you ladies doing? You ladies? Welcome, welcome. Is the homegirls hanging out? Yeah. What's your name, baby? Alberta. Alberta? Alice? Alice? Paulina, all right. Three single ladies hanging out? Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> but you know what's interesting about the answer? To a man, that's a good answer. That means there's some distress going on in the shit. You know, somebody got their foot in the door, there's a crack. Right? A woman is sort of, we're like, oh, all right, possibility. Right? Women don't like that in reverse. If you ask a man, you got you in a relationship, he goes, sorta, you like piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck out of here. What you mean, sorta? <laughs> Y'all have more freedom than we do. Remember when um Gwyneth Paltrow made that candle? Yeah. And she she called the candle straight up. This smells like my vagina. That was the name of the candle. I was like, smell like your vagina? Why would you? That's not like a it's not a scent you want wafting through the crib. <laughs> That's real confident shit right there. Like, she's like, you know what? Everybody need to get some of this. <laughs> like, you gonna go in the house and go, what's that? Oh, that's Quentin Pussy? Oh, that's pretty good, yo. I thought it was mashed potatoes, but it was Quentin, Quentin Pussy up in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, black people, we always gotta one up them. You know what I'm saying? Then Erica Badu came out with pussy. That's what name of the candle. I was like, who bought? And it sold out in hours. I was like, who bought this shit? You don't want that in the crib? That's gangster to just call that shit, man. That wouldn't work for us. No, hell no. Nah. We get some kind of dick candle. Go ahead and light that shit up in the house. <laughs> soon as your woman come, soon as she come in the door, she be like, <coughs> what the fuck is that? Dick and balls. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Open the window, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do this with it. Oh. You, you, you like it in a minute, go ahead. Go ahead. Some of that dick and balls up there. 
That's the power of women, right? The, the, the irony of y'all is vagina is very cocky. It's very interesting. Yeah, they don't do this shit. We do. Like, guys might get together. We say shit like, oh, we hope we get lucky tonight. Hope we get lucky. See, you shook your face. Women don't say that. Girls don't get together and be like, oh, maybe we'll get some dick. <laughs> you know how women get dick? Like Thor retrieving his hammer. They just put their hand up like this. There'd be too many. Oh shit, they don't go through that, man. That's why they get everything free and all that shit, man. It's the power of being a lady, right? You never done that. You never stalked a dude. You ever stalk a dude? Huh? You ever be sitting there and go, here you go, right here. <laughs> hey, Robert. Which where you come from? <laughs> it's the power of being a lady. But you say you, you're the single one? Yes. All right. Two qualities a man has to possess to gain your interest. Good morning, too. Huh? Morning. I have good morning, too. But I didn't ask you that. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. There you go, white woman trying to take over the conversation. I was very specific about what the fuck I asked you. I didn't ask you about your whole fucking list. I said two. You want to narrow it? Yeah. Yo. Honest. Ooh. All right. And not lazy. Honest and not lazy. All right. What you see the type of dudes you've been messing with? Any single fellas in here fit the, fit the requirements? <laughs> you said honest first. They was like, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> You ever dated a brother before? You know what I'm talking about, not your sibling. <laughs> Africanus, Americanus. You ever took a walk on the dark side? You say yes? No. Oh, okay. Just try it out. <laughs> Just wait outside. You know? Like the crocodile hunter, there's one right now. He seems to be alone. <laughs> oh man, that's where we at. That's where we at. I believe everybody need to live their life. No, the LGBTQ, the only problem I have with the community, you know there's a plus now, right? I said, more shit coming? A plus? <laughs> live your life. Stop letting people tell you what to do. Love who you want to love, live your goddamn life. But in the same token, don't try to shut people down. If you want to be part of the world, you got to take jokes too. You don't shut nobody down. We trying to adapt it, this shit is a little weird. For older people, like we back in the day, it was just the birds and the bees. We ain't like that no more. Now it's a bird identifying as a bee, a bee that wanna be a bird. <laughs> ain't you a bird? I'm a wannabe. Wannabe. It's crazy. We just trying to adapt. <laughs> we we numbers now, non-binary. I'm like, what is non-binary? Cold and all kind of stuff here, right? Just give us a chance to, to, to get with this stuff. Yeah, that's all. Live, live your life. Do what you want to do. But don't shut nobody else down trying to make money, man. Right, right, right. They, they, they serious about their shit. Okay. I mean, and this is what they did, right? They, I don't like when you put... Don't put pressure on people to put you down, right? right? That's the problem black people made. Okay. We had the power and the resources. We could have been made Wakanda. <laughs> been made it, right? right? So I was like, don't right. do that. Do your own shit, right? They put pressure on the comic books.
to include them and just turn all the superheroes into bisexual characters. That, that don't make no sense. Right, but they got that pressure, so they folded. They went to DC first. They was like, DC, who you got? <laughs> Come on, who you got for us? Come on. DC, they was like, let me see who you got. All right, all right. You can have Robin. <laughs> they was like, yeah, he's suspect anyway. Take Robin. Robin, go on, Robin, go on. They went to Marvel, like, Marvel, come on now, who we got? Who we got? Hey, let me see we got. Okay. Oh, shit. Loki. <laughs> his name already sound like it. Take his ass. <laughs> Don't force it on Come up with your own superheroes. Yeah, like a gay superhero called Only Man. <laughs> he only saved men or some shit like that. It'd be a dude, all he did was bump his toe. He fly out of nowhere. Ooh, you good? Like, yeah, only man, I'm good, I'm good. It'd be a lady over here like, only man, he just snatched my purse. He's like, bitch, it was fake anyway. my suggestions, I don't know. I don't want no problems. Just live your life, is what I'm saying. Live your life. You need to get along with everybody. You gotta, anybody here? Anybody here, Rich? You put your hand up? No, you ain't put your damn hand up. Huh? What you say? Oh. Nah, don't say put your hand down. She might have another account you don't know about. <laughs> she put her hand up for a reason, like, he don't know. But <laughs> I feed him ramen. <laughs> I be having t -bone. I like to do things just for fun. So before I got married, right, I told my wife, I was, like, I was watching a documentary about people having prenuptial agreements. Right? I was like, oh, this should be interesting, right? <laughs> One day she was passing by, I said, hey, I want you to sign a prenuptial agreement. She looked me in my face, she was like, nigga, I don't want your PlayStation. I said, oh shit. That was my biggest asset at the time. Like, yeah, hey. She got me. She got me. Just gotta have fun with shit, man. If you're in a good relationship, stay it. Stay it. Is this new? Is this new? Four years. Going good though. Sometimes she get on your nerves. No. What you say? <laughs> Always good. Don't lie. That's a smart dude. <laughs> yeah, that's how you answer in public. Don't let nobody trick you with no bullshit. <laughs> you want to have sex later on. That's how you answer in public. You want to have sex later on, you better do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your night gonna be very good. Yeah. It's like, women are like lawyers. Anything you say now, can it will be held against you later when you get home. Yeah, whatever bullshit you say, you're gonna hear it later on. Don't ever answer in the sounds. Women don't like sounds. And somebody be like, how's your relationship going? We go, yeah. Oh, hell no. Nah. She ain't gonna say nothing now, but she's storming it. Yeah, it's amazing memory. They will mem never make a chip with more memory than that V-chip. Unlimited capacity. Nine hours later, you forgot about the bullshit. She didn't. Right? And they waiting for you to want to have sex to spring it back on your ass. Soon as you touch her, she'll be like, Remember the old alarm? My, don't mess with her. My wife is a sleepy girl. All right, that's the type, once she sleep, leave her alone. She is hyping in, you leave that bear alone. But you ever be, you ever be out drunk, and you go home, and you say, I'm gonna fuck tonight. But you know you're not. 
You know you not, you know her. Three o'clock in the morning, get your ass out of here. But the liquor was like, go for it. I bullshit you. You ever have your woman snow in your face with their eyes open? That's some evil shit to do. Yeah. You don't like it. I'm telling you, you ain't gonna like it. I ain't even touching that in the major part. She was laying on her side, and I just rubbed her across her head. And she hit my hand at the same time and spun around like. I said, God damn, you looking in my face? That's how it is. If you want to have sex with your woman, you got to be nice the entire evening. Yeah, the vagina is cumulative. It works off the whole shit. Just waiting for you to say something fucked up. Like, uh-huh. There it is. There's... She's like, there's my out. She's walking on eggshells the whole night. They don't do that. Yeah, yeah, you got to be... Pace yourself, right? They don't care about that, man. You ever have, like, one day she said this shit to me. Like, she was like, play your cards right. I hate that shit. <laughs> play your cards right. Man, you know something later on tonight. We don't even know what it means. What we do know it means is shut your mouth, go where she want to go, eat what she want to eat. If you listen to the GPS and that lady say make a left and she say make a right, fuck that bitch. Listen to her. <laughs> Once again, in reverse, it won't work good. Right? Try it as a dude. Like, hey, play your cards right. Might be some dick for you later on tonight. Right? They be laughing just like that, like, ha <laughs> Play my cards right. Motherfucker, I own the deck. This is my casino. You playing with house money. Shut your ass down and shut up. <laughs> Fucking play my cards right. Yeah, I bought you. these cards. <laughs> it has no, it has no power, no value, no value at all. Yeah, you gonna try it? Try it? Try it out one time and see what happened for it. Get bold one time. Yeah, see, but they, they know it too. They be waiting for you to say something stupid. Just sitting there, stewing. You ever don't say nothing? They be like, what you say? I just turned around. What the fuck? No. You said something when you turned around, goddammit. What you say? You know, pins and needles in a relationship. Because nobody cares about us. They care about y'all. I don't care about us. You know over three million men in America get beat by women and... You see, you laughing. Exactly, because nobody cares. Right, when you hear domestic violence, you immediately think some man hitting a woman. Nah, it's dudes out there getting their ass kicked. But you don't hear the stories, because you, who you gonna tell? You can't call your boy. You call him up and be like, yo, where you crying? Yo. <laughs> what happened? Hey man, she told me to get milk and I got almond milk instead, and she hit me in my face. Like, why you hit her back? Nobody cares about me. None, none, no. What's your name, bro? Glenn and, yeah, I know you. <laughs> so, no, I know Andrew in a long time. So, I'll prove it to you right now. Glenn and Andrew are walking down the street, right? Glenn turns to Andrew and goes, bitch, you heard what the fuck I said. I'll slap the shit out you. <laughs> See, it me. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, just go with it. Go with it, go with it, right? Immediately, all y'all, that's the reaction you should have. Like, what the fuck? Right, and women, if you don't know the chick, y'all form like Voltron together, like, e -ah -ah -ah. get on! They, they start building up a, a robot. Yeah, yeah. In reverse, nobody cares. They walking down the street. Dre turns to Glenn and go, shut your punk ass up before I slap the shit out of you. Oh, you same women be like, that's right, bitch. <laughs> yeah, girl. That's how you talk to these motherfuckers. 
Disrespectful shit. Probably says, they make up a story. Probably says some bullshit to her. They don't even know what's going on. Probably looking at these bitches. Gotta check them. <laughs> but that's funny, that's the natural black woman instinct. She couldn't even go with the scenario. As soon as I said slap, what the fuck? What? You know when I knew, you know when I knew I wanted to be with my wife? This is when I knew, right? We was watching Enough. Remember them? Yes. Yes. Right. Remember that, remember that, remember that first scene when he really beat up, like was beating around the living room in the house? Let me tell you something. All the Jamaican came out of her. <laughs> All of it. We sitting there watching it. She just started spazzing. She was like, it's him, it's him, it's him. Pick up something and eat him, blah, blah. And she looked at me, she said, I wish a motherfucker would put it down, but like, We watching the same movie. What you talking about? God ah, damn, yo, you violent. I knew right there, I was like, don't do it. <laughs> just never put your hands on a woman, that's punk shit. Yeah. However, you should be able to trip their ass every once in a while. It's hard to keep talking shit as you fall. Falling makes you shut the fuck up. You ever seen somebody fall and go, and another motherfucker thing? Did you hear what the fuck I said? Make you shut up. You gotta brace yourself for impact. You can't talk and brace yourself. This is fun, man. Trying to eat better and stuff, but I can't go to vegan. I can't go that route. Ugh. I think anybody here vegan, vegetarian? Yeah. Look, look how he put the hand. I like, oh. <laughs> See, you don't even want to do that shit, man. You don't, man. And the reason I say that is because if y'all love vegetables so much, why all your shit got meat names? That's weird. If you don't like meat, why is there meat in all your shit? Right? One of them was called incognito. I was like, who? Why would you eat some shit called incognito? Beyond meat. There's no beyond meat. It's just not meat. Just call it just not meat. <laughs> Vegas, uh, they ain't no people, yeah. Uh, I'm vegan, I'm vegan, I'm not vegan, I'm vegetarian, I'm pescatarian. Get on your nerves. Anybody like kale? You like kale? Kale? I don't like kale. The name sounds pretentious. Sound like some rich asshole name. Like if somebody was interviewing all the greens, they'd be like, hi sir, what's your name? <laughs> Me? Hi, uh, uh, my name is Kale. He's like, all right, Kale. Who you with? Oh, this is my wife, Arugula. <laughs> Who are they? Oh, those are the adopted twins, Bach and Choi. <laughs> hey, where do you live, Kale? Of course, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that over there, Kale? Oh, that's our nanny, cilantro. <laughs> then they're like, Kale, who are those greens over there? Oh, those are the collards. <laughs> we don't mess with those. Mm -mm -mm. No nutritional value whatsoever. No niacin, no C, no D, no letter. <laughs> so y'all, y'all vegans, right? Name one vegan jingle. 
vegan food that got no jingles. Meat had all the jingles. Hold a pickle, hold a little special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that shit. Two all beef patty special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, honey, you know what I boy. You ain't got none of that shit. <laughs> Arby's. We have the meats. What would y'all do? Arby's. We have the beets. And carrots and lettuce. Y'all was vegans all your life? Is that your culture or you just chose to? You chose it. Did you eat meat first? Oh, so what was the transition like? You have, you had the shakes and shit? That's good. So what, what's, like a, what's like a typical, like if I came to your house for dinner, right, what would, what would we be having? I'm corroded. What the fuck you said to me then? Motherfucker just said I'm corroded? I'm a battery? <laughs> what did you say, bro? What, what's it called? Order, order. <laughs> you can order. You can order. I can order? So wait a minute. If I came to your house for dinner, I gotta order some shit? <laughs> what kind of racist shit is that, yo? You got the food right there, but you like order some other shit. You can't touch our shit. You ain't bring nothing. You ain't eating nothing. Order? Who says order when you ask them to go to their house? <laughs> that do sound like something black people would do, though. <laughs> He's like, what y'all got in here to eat? He's like, go ahead, check this out. They right down the block. If you go down the block, Make it right, they right there. They are pretty cheap too, look. They are pretty cheap too. Check it out. Yeah. Not in here. Shit, food too expensive to be inviting people over now. Food expensive as hell right now. Yo, I went in the supermarket, the eggs was $3.79. I tapped the dude, I said, oh, this must be the free range. I need the chicken been locked up. I need those type of eggs. $4 for eggs? God damn, that shit is expensive. <laughs> you go to the supermarket now, you look at the prices like James Brown, like, ah! ah! Shit. <laughs> expensive out here. But you gotta eat better when you get older. You know, and I know a lot of y'all motherfuckers, though, because I know y'all. <laughs> Yeah, don't turn them out. You know I know you. Get over 50, it should change. Yeah. When you're young, you learn your ABCs. Over 50, you gotta learn your AARPs. Whole, whole different alphabet now. It's different, right? You ever, you ever have your knee just give out for no reason? Right? Nothing on the ground. But what, it's like your body trying to check you to let you know where you at right now. And it's never two knees, the body's not that evil. It's always one, you just walk in and one just go, oh shit. What the fuck? When you get older, you get pains that's not even anatomically connected. You be reaching up in your shelf to get something and all of a sudden your quads start hurting. You're like, what the fuck? got a trolley horse just trying to make tuna fish. She's like, you get older, you put all your shit down here. You're like, I know. All my shit out this cover here. I'm reaching up there, that's dangerous up there. That's where pain is at. Pain lives there. So any, um, any, man, any man here had a prostate exam yet? You had it? You had it? Yeah, you didn't want to get it though. Mm, I dreaded it, but I had to because my father had a scare, right? So family, wife was on me like, you got it, you should get it, you should get it. I said, all right, I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to get it. 
So I was like, but damn, they still sticking fingers in people's ass? I'm like, all this technology we got, why are they still doing that? We got cars that can park themselves. Why are we still doing this? So I read up on it to assuage my fears, but it didn't do no good. I read it at first, I got excited. It was like the doctor will perform a digital exam. I said, oh, they upgraded it. <laughs> yeah. Then I forgot these are digits. I said, we back to the ass again. Why over 50 everything go through your ass? Prosthetics and colonoscopy, now you making a movie of my ass? This is crazy here. So I went to the doctor, right? The good thing about it, it wasn't my doctor. It was a doctor specifically to do this. So I didn't know it, but when I got there, the doctor was female. So I was like, oh, at least that. You know, that's a different story. <laughs> at least that, right? So she, um, she was doing some paperwork, and then she turned around, she said, okay, Mr. Britt, um, can you lean over the table, lean over the table? I was like, that's what we tell y'all. Fucking lean over the table. <laughs> it's weird, right? And she's like, you know, take your shots down, Mr. Britt. Okay, oh, that's even weirder. This was the fucked up part. I swear on my mother, I'm not making this up. The next thing I hung out, she was like, oh, Mr. Britt, do you want lube or no lube? I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, I was like, doc, hold on a minute. You mean to tell me you had somebody came here and you asked them that and they said no? You mean you asked somebody that question and they was like, no doc, I like it wrong. Yeah, get that lube out there, don't be a punk. Get in there. Yeah, yeah, get in there. Yeah, get in there. <laughs> you know, the fucked up part was like, I was like, yeah, I want lube. Then I was like, why would I want, I don't know, I don't know that. No, I don't want it raw. That's for God that show. You're older, man. You got it. Do you know? Do you know Viagra was originally for a heart condition? Yeah, yeah it's for angina. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It became for vagina, but it started out with angina. <laughs> I would have loved to be those doctors at those trials, because when they was giving them the drug, they noticed that they was maintaining these hours and hours long erections. So they was like, oh, we about to get paid up in here. <laughs> Meanwhile, this motherfucker over here like, oh. <laughs> Help him! <laughs> they, they weren't about that money. They was like, fuck your heart. Shouldn't be eating all that cheese. Oh, this shit change. <laughs> Get up different when you're older. Remember, he's young, he's popped up. He hopped out the bed. <laughs> now you need a minute. It's three stages. Horizontal. Six seconds of vertical. Legs swinging on the edge of bed. He's like, ah, some of this. Get up like an R&B singer. It's gotta have fun, man. Anybody watch um, Game of Thrones? Yes. House of Dragons? Yes. Oh, I love that stuff, yes. man. You know what I love about it? I love the language. Oh, yeah. yeah, old English cuts way deeper than regular English. Old English shows you, if you put the right words together, you can say some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Kev, because I know him. If you grab my hand, I say, get the fuck off of me, right? <laughs> Effective, right? But if you grab my hand, I go, unhand me. <laughs> That's a whole nother level to get the fuck up off of me. You can't unhand, you've already handed. Ladies, you should try it. All y'all ladies had experiences with the creepy dude who won't get out your face. Yeah, because you're using regular English. Mm -mm. Yeah, slip a little old English on his ass. I bet you he'll bounce. Right, next time that happens, just take one step back and look him up and down and be like, 
Can you remove yourself from my presence? <laughs> the stench of your desperation sickens me. <laughs> Not even in my darkest hour would I entertain such a pity of a man. Damn, damn. Some of y'all women been with a dude, you support all his dreams, he don't support none of yours. Yeah, try it in old English. Right, just roll up on him and just start off real nice with him. I have been the wind that carried you towards your dreams as minds were cast aside. Using your stars to navigate your world, but none of mine. Well, my winds have ceased. <laughs> and I shall blow no more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think they about to break up. Language cuts deeper, man. That's how you gotta talk to her sometimes. Remember Hamlet? Get thee to a nunnery. I love that. But you know the story of Hamlet, if you don't know it, Hamlet was a good dude, right? He was in college in Denmark. His father died. Actually, his uncle killed him, but he didn't know that. Until he got home, and then when he got home to the funeral, he saw his mama sitting there with his uncle. And he's like, what the fuck is going on here? In less than a month, she married him. So immediately he was like, nah. So before Snoop Dogg, Hamlet was like, I don't love these hoes. <laughs> That's why Ophelia was talking about marriage. He treated her so bad because he hated his mother so much. That's what Get Thee to a Nunnery was about. He's, and then he says, Get Thee to a Nunnery. Go, farewell. Or, if thou wilt need marry, marry a fool for wise men know well what monsters you make of them. That's a damn. damn. <laughs> he ain't never getting married. <laughs> Don't you ever bring that shit up again. <laughs> he want that shit. The, the, the language is good, yeah? Try it sometime. Yeah, instead of calling a woman and say, hey, come hither. Uh, uh, now get over here, bitch. Uh, <laughs> it's all in the language. Uh, I wish I had a dragon. <laughs> Do you know how many people I would burn the fuck up? <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> any, any slight piece of attitude. How much is this? I said it's ten ninety nine, sir. Oh yeah, Dracaris. Burn that bitch. <laughs> One word, Dracaris. Like, yeah, I got you. I got you, yo. <laughs> Good. Good energy, man. Hey, all Kelly got 30 years. 30 years. Oh, karma don't never fail, do it? She always come back. But the problem is, we all complicit. We knew all was fucked up. From day one. Remember the tape? I still got that shit on cassette. It came in a red sleeve. I got it from downtown Brooklyn. Yeah, the beat on the little girl we knew from then. He married a 15-year-old girl. Aaliyah was 15. And then when he wrote a song for her, what was the song? AJ Number the Number. He was speaking through her. Yeah, his, he confessed, but we wasn't listening. Because his confession wasn't called one. His confession was bump and grind. Yeah, we thought it was a sex song, but nah, he couldn't do it like that. It wasn't like Usher's confession. Uh, his shit was called confession. And he got to the point immediately. Right, he had two of them. 
In Usher's confession, music started in the beginning, right? The first one. That sounds like somebody scared to say what they gotta say. But he was completely honest. Ladies, y'all be saying y'all want honesty? Straight off the top. Everything that I've been doing is all bad. Everything? I got a chick on the side with a crib and a ride. I've been telling you so many lies. Ain't nothing good, it's all bad. Damn! Everything is so bad. Then you thought that was enough. At the end of the first one, he goes, I know you hate me. <laughs> I know I did you wrong. There's more. <laughs> See, the more was the side baby. But he was like, a piano ain't enough for the side baby. I need another instrument. He brought that guitar in for that second one. Once again, started with music. Remember the video? He was sitting in the silhouette. Right, he was tapping his foot on the ground because he got some shit. This, this side baby is not easy to tell. He's, she's like, what, what now? These are my confessions. Just when I thought I said all I could say, my chick on the side said she got one on her way. These are my confessions. Damn, I'm told and I don't know. Part two. The funny shit was the next line, he goes, if I'm gonna tell it, then I gotta tell it all. Damn near cry when I got that phone call. What the fuck you think she did when you told her she had a side baby? <laughs> Confessions. <laughs> Stated clearly and presented. <laughs> oh, I didn't do that, right? Bump and Grind didn't start with no music. It started a cappella. And it started with somebody in distress. Right? This is supposed to be a sex song. And the first thing he said was, My mind's telling me no! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Then it got worse and worse. But my body, my body, telling me no. That's some sexual predator shit like this. Your mind saying no, but your body saying yeah. Then it got scary. I don't want to hurt nobody. Who you hurting? <laughs> but there's something that I must convey. Then he got quiet. I don't see nothing wrong. What? Now let's go back to that. Let's go back to that shit. Gotta listen. Don't listen to the music, listen to the words, man. Listen to the words, right? I never understood gangster rap. When you do crime, you're not supposed to tell nobody, right? But they tell all their criminal activities in the songs. You ever see the videos? They be in the video. Selling crack and weed every day. Right here, 30, 35th Street. <laughs> That's your block. <laughs> His mother out the window. Reggie, come inside. Come inside. They love to say it in the Mafia. 3-6 Mafia, Junior Mafia, all this type of shit. Which is dumb. The Mafia don't even admit they in the Mafia, dumbass. <laughs> Have you ever heard anybody in the mob rhyming in the history of hip hop? No. Remember when Christopher, we watched, remember when Christopher wrote a movie in The Sopranos? They killed him. Right? If they did rhyme, they would not incriminate themselves in their music. They should have been totally different. They'd be like, we don't kill nobody or have nobody killed. We're just chilling in this mansion and our hard work book. We're fucking plumbers. <laughs> Welcome to the union. Throw your wrench in the air. Tony's on construction. Johnny's on cement. <laughs> Bobby does the plumbing. 
and smart. Isn't the GPS a great invention? Especially for our age. Remember, we made a lot of bads. We have a bad person giving you directions and all that. Now you just kick back. But it's the same voice all the time. It's that same chick. They need to switch the voices up. Get some different characters in there. You know what would be a good voice? Like the Indian voice, like the tech support voice. They want to help you immediately. Right? As soon as you punch in the desk, they'll be like, oh, oh, I cannot wait to take you where you want to go. <laughs> okay, what do you want to do? What do you want? You want to go 1.1 miles, make a left on Rani Street. Then go 2.3 miles, make a right on Cherry Street. <laughs> Cherry Street will merge into 95. Stay on there, I will tell you when to want to leave. <laughs> right, your exit be coming up. You mix the exit, he's like, right here, get off right here. You miss it, you're like, oh, I missed it. He'll be like, don't worry, my friend. <laughs> I will recalculate everything and bring you right back where you want to be. Sometimes in life, you must make a wrong turn to go down the right path. This is what Vishnu teaches us. You're gonna be good. I'm telling you right now, you won't want no Jamaican GPS. It ain't gonna be as accommodating. As soon as you punch in the destiny, the first thing you'll hear. Where you wanna go? All right, all right, listen. Listen. Go 1.1 miles, make a left on Rani Street. 2.3 miles, make a right on Rani Street. Merge by 95. We tell you when they get off. Right? The exit coming in like, exit 13 here, soon come, soon come, soon come, soon come. And they're like, 13 here, right? Get off right here, sir, right here, sir. You miss that turn and be like, me tell you, get off right here. Are you not listening? You purchased me, me not purchase you. Now I'm gonna recalculate everything and bring it back around. I don't have time for this. Do you know what GP means? That means globe or positioning. That means I know the whole globe. But you know better than me, so go on and drive and go where you want to. Go on and drive. Push the wall. Hey everybody, God bless y'all. Thank y'all very much for coming out. I'm Mike Green. Thank y'all, man. I love all y'all, man. Brooklyn in the house.